What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I got another fantastic video for you guys. I hope you're doing fantastic today because today we're going to be talking about another percussion video. And today we're going to be recording a shaker and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a shaker to get rhythm in your mix. So enough talking, let's jump right into Logic Pro X and record some shaker. Here we go. Alright guys, so here we are in Logic Pro X and what we have up here is a shaker. So what we're going to be doing is we are using a shaker from Ultra Beat. Now the shaker we're going to be using to add some dynamics, some rhythm to the mix. So what we're going to do right now is record the shaker so I can show you guys how to get that rhythm. So let's jump into some recording right now. Here we go. Okay guys, so pretty much what I did is I just recorded a shaker up there. And the shaker, Tim, what I did is I just used the shaker like t -t 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 -t. That's the beat I did. So now what we're going to do is jump into the editor inside of Logic Pro X to show you guys how I'm going to take this shaker track and transform it into something else that sounds really cool and give it dynamics to it. So take a look. Okay guys, so here we are in Logic Pro X. And what we're gonna do is open up our shaker here. So here we are, here's our shaker track, and here is all of our shaker notes here. So pretty much what we wanna do is the first thing, we wanna quantize these shakers. So we're gonna highlight all of them, and then we're gonna come over here and quantize. So now that our shakers are quantized, what we can do is start transforming this into something that sounds really cool. And that's going to give it a lot of texture, a lot of character and dynamics. So what I'm thinking is, is we'll start off the shaker with something just simple. And then we'll go into something more complicated. So let me show you what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread this out a little bit. Come to the beginning of it. And then what we're going to do is, and since we have here our first shaker, we'll move the next one here. Now the next thing I want to do is find the second shaker that is on this track. So we have our first one here, and the good thing for me, there's a shaker right above it. So what we're going to do is grab the second one, move it up. Now if you guys haven't seen the video I did with the hi-hat, that to create dynamics and to create rhythm to the hi-hat. I did that video yesterday, so go check it out. It's a great video. I'll leave the link in the description down below for you guys. So pretty much what we're doing is we're grabbing the second one, bringing it up. Then we're gonna take our next note, bring it over, and then we're gonna bring this one up here. So pretty much what we're doing here is we're creating a pattern. So we're going to bring our next one over here and make it the same size, bring our next one over, then bring this one up. Next one over, make it the same size, then bring this one over, bring it up. So by doing this, by separating the notes, you're creating a better rhythm. So it sounds like a real shaker's playing. Because the thing is, by just keeping the notes in a straight line, you're, it doesn't sound like a real shaker's playing. So take a listen to this part here. I'm gonna play this shaker part here that's just on one line. Check it out. Sorry about that guys, let's start it here. Here we go. You see what I mean? It just sounds like now take a listen to the part I edited. It 
it sounds like t -t 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 -t. so it sounds a lot better it actually sounds like a real shaker's playing like you're holding a shaker in your hand and you're actually playing it instead of having the notes in one straight line it sounds like a real shaker so this tip is excellent to do you can do it with hi-hats you can do it with shakers tambourines you name it do it do it with all kinds of percussion instruments it's fantastic and it really really helps try it out in your next mix when you're doing percussion i know it will help you all right guys i got one more technique to show you guys about how to use shakers to make your mix a lot more rhythm so we're going to jump into logic again and i'm going to show you guys another technique you can use here we go okay guys so here we are in logic pro x right here and we did our first technique which is right here now what we're going to do is move down here and we're going to do our second technique so what we're going to do here is we are going to take our shakers here and we're going to move them close to each other like this and i think there we go move them all the way close now we're going to do the same technique that we did in the first one but then what we're going to do is add an extra twist on it so let's do that same technique we did in the first one where we bring these up right here there we go now instead of actually skipping a line like we did in the first one these ones are a lot closer to each other so there we go and then the last one we'll put up here now what we're going to do is take a listen to this we're going to move this here and then this right here make these all the same size so that we get an even beat there we go so what this is going to do is take a listen You hear that? I'll put it in solo so you guys can hear it. Let me just solo everything else. Take a listen. There you go. That is another technique that you guys can do to create rhythm in your mix. It sounds like it's a fantastic way to create dynamics in your mix and a great rhythm. This technique is used for beat makers. So if you're a beat maker, you do R&B, rap, that kind of stuff, try this technique. Let me know in the comments how it helps. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, make it turn gray, turn on post notifications so that you guys are notified whenever I post a new video on Golden Productions. Also guys, when this video is over, make sure you go ahead and follow me on social media when this video is over. I am on Instagram, Twitter, and SoundCloud. So all you guys have to do is look up Golden Productions and you'll find it. All right? And I'll put them right here on the screen so you guys can go. And also, all my social media links are in the description down below. Check them out. Follow me on there. You guys are awesome. Keep making great music. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video today. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit that like button down below. And I hope you learned a lot about using shakers to take your mix and to give it more rhythm, more dynamics, and give it a better dynamic feel. So make sure you leave comments down below, any questions you guys have, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and also I'll leave two of my other videos right here on the screen so that you guys know that's my video. Go check them out. You guys are awesome. Keep making great music.